Oh yeah, let's get it, another supreme season. We are out here. Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. If you guys cannot tell, your boy is super, super excited. You should already know the vibes. We are back with another Supreme season. This time it is for spring, summer 2020. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am pretty excited about this season. At first glance, I did wake up at 6.30 in the morning just to take a quick glance at it, just to see what it was hitting for. Um, at first glance, I was uh, pretty uh, you know, upset. I thought it was pretty hot trash, but then I took a little deeper look into it. I looked at it you know, a little bit more in detail, and I do like some items. I feel like there are some pretty nice items for personal. I also feel like there are pretty nice items for resale, items that I do think that uh, you know will be pretty profitable this season. I'm not going to sit here and review the entire lookbook because that'll take probably you know too long. Last year's lookbook review was about an hour long and I don't want to put you guys through that again so this year I'm going to go through each category and give you guys my favorite items I'm also going to talk to you guys about some of the just horrendous trash that is uh, you know on this lookbook because there are some uh, you know pretty uh you know really bad items so I do want to discuss that with you guys today I do hope you guys enjoy the video drop a like on this video if you guys are excited for the season we've been waiting for quite a long time so we're finally here I hope you guys are ready because your boy is definitely 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 stoked about it but before I get into the actual lookbook I do have to mention one thing if you guys are not aware I do have my own discord group ugly gang 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 if you guys want to join up we're about 350 members deep right now this is going to be a hell of a season I'm going to be running some slots a couple of us are actually going to be running some slots we're going to be you know you know cooking it up pretty much all season if you guys want to be caught up and want to cook up with the kid please join up go follow me on Instagram subscribe to the YouTube channel shoot me a DM with proof you are subscribed and I will swing you guys an invite. I promise you guys would not want to miss out on that. So please go check that out ASAP. But enough of that stuff. We do have quite a bit to discuss. Let's get into the actual lookbook. I'm going to start with some of just the trash that I saw. Stuff that just hurt my eyes to look at. Um, right now I have about five or six items. One of them, most of them to be honest, are in the shirts category. The shirts category is just complete disgusting this season in my opinion. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but it is what it is. One of those items being this disgusting Nueva York short sleeve top. This is an all cotton jersey and boy this shit is trash i'm sorry for all my hispanics out there when i saw this i just instantly cringed this shirt is disgusting and i do not want to have anything to do with that another item that i saw that just made me want to throw up is the stars crew neck boy boy look at this shit this shit is nasty nasty don't buy this for the personal don't buy this to resell this shit is not going anywhere it's a brick Another item, this hoodie, this embryo hoodie. <laughs> Doug, this is a whole embryo on the front and the back of the hoodie. And it's a, it looks like there's two of them in there. There's two of them bad boys in that stomach. Man, keep that shit away from me as well. That shit is dookie. Another item is this Castelli Cycling Bib Shorts. Fam, if you get caught outside wearing this, I'm straight flaming you, I'm straight roasting you, I'm memeing you. This shirt, is whatever this is, the shorts, this whole one piece action here is not it. Please don't buy this to wear it, don't buy it to flip it. This is a brick and it's definitely a pretty disgusting brick at that. But lastly, another pretty trash item is this Vance and Leather Letters bag. There's also a jacket to match with this. I don't really hate the jacket that much, even though I'm not gonna cop it. It's Vance and it's going to be expensive and I'm not really a fan of the design either. But this bag is super, super ugly, super tacky, very nasty. I don't expect it to do anything on the resale market either. I personally don't like it and I'm not gonna get anywhere near it as well. But now let's get into the actual nice items, items that I am pretty stoked about. I'm going to start with the jackets category. There are a few jackets that I'm pretty excited about for personal reasons. For resale, I can't really judge at the moment. It's really hard to without knowing the retails. But um, these are jackets that I do feel will be pretty you know, appreciated in the community. So let's get right into it. One being this wide whale or wide wale corduroy Harrington jacket. I'm a big, big fan of corduroy and I'm also a really big fan of the classic logo them putting it all together on one very simple jacket I do feel like this is a pretty dope item I love the colors that purple the natural the orange the black they're all really really nice for the spring I feel like this is going to be a really really nice clean simple jacket to rock 
So uh, yeah, I hope it's not too expensive, but we'll just have to wait and see about that. But that is definitely a really nice jacket in my opinion. Another one, we have this drama mask fleece jacket. I know a lot of people are probably going to say this is a pretty loud jacket, but in my opinion, I love, love, love that back design. That's a Supreme spell out. It's a, you know, it's a fleece jacket. Fleece jackets usually do pretty well and they're usually not, you know, overly expensive. So um, I do expect this to do pretty well on the market. That pink one is definitely going to fly. The black one is not bad either. In my opinion, the green one is probably the weakest out of the three, but it's still a pretty nice jacket if you ask me. Um, I do expect this to, um, you know, be probably the high ticket item of whatever week it drops in. I hope it doesn't drop week one because week one is usually pretty stacked. But um, yeah, this jacket is fire. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that as well. Another jacket, probably my favorite jacket out of the entire, uh, you know, collection is this whole punch denim trucker jacket. We saw this during a leaked image. Um, actually, it wasn't even a leaked image. Supreme themselves put it out. This jacket is hard. I love, love, love the colors. I love the design i love that arc logo supreme spelled out on the back this jacket is going to slap everybody is going to try to get this if it's not for the personal they'll try to flip it i can see a lot of really nice items being made with this jacket so uh yeah this is definitely going to slap whenever it drops i hope it's not expensive because uh that'll definitely fuck it all up but another one, we have this Waves Work Jacket. This Waves Work Jacket is insanely tough. I love like the koi fish design, the colors, the way it all sits on the jacket. My only gripe with this jacket is that technically it's a work jacket. I myself, I'm not really a huge fan of work jackets. Um, the only difference is that it has like a full zip enclosure instead of like button enclosures. Um, regardless, this jacket is fire, both colorways, that like multicolored one and also that black and gold one, both of them slap. In my opinion, they're both super, super, super nice to wear. I can see this one reselling for a good amount if it's not too expensive. Usually work jackets aren't too expensive, so I do expect this one to do pretty well on the market. But um, yeah, super, super fire jacket as well. Another one that I was a little bit on the fence about when I first saw it, but when I saw it on the actual lookbook, when I saw it on, you know, on body, it kind of changed my mind, is this Gore-Tex Anorak. I'm still not completely sold on it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just want to sleep on it a little bit more at the moment. I'm still a little indifferent on it, but um, I can see it doing pretty well in the market if it's not too expensive. It is Gore-Tex, so it might be on the more expensive side. But the two, uh, you know, multicolored ones are not bad. That green one is super trash. The black one is super basic. But the other two. I don't know how I feel on it for personal reasons, for resale either, because if it's too expensive, it's definitely a pass. But um, I don't think it's the worst jacket out of the, uh, you know, out of the bunch. But regardless, that is pretty much my favorite jacket. If you guys have one that I missed out on, just please let me know in the comment section below. Um, to be honest, I feel like the jackets are, uh, you know, one of the best sections out of the entire lookbook. If not the jackets, is the accessories. We'll get into the accessories in a bit. But um, the jackets are super, super, super hard this season, in my opinion. But now let's move on to the shirts category. This season for shirts, I'm not gonna lie, is a little better than last season's. Um, usually when it comes to shirts like button-ups, people don't really look at you know them for resale. They're usually for personal. Um, this season, I can see them being about like three or four really nice personal shirts. Um, to start, I really like this Daniel Johnson rayon. Um, Daniel Johnson, if you guys don't know, he makes like super abstract, really uh, you know out there designs. This one, I I kind of am digging it. Both colorways, the black one and the white one, they're kind of loud for most people, but I can definitely see the right person definitely pulling this off really, really nicely. Another shirt that I'm super, super, super hyped about, if you guys don't know who this is, I can understand a lot of people probably don't, is this Che Rayon short sleeve shirt. I personally am a fan of this shirt. I actually studied Cuban entrepreneurial studies in, in college. Um, che is a Cuban warlord, or like a Cuban general, a war general. This shirt is hard. I love, love, love the design on it both colorways that multicolor one is hard the black one is hard as well um i don't think it's going to do much on the resale market because a lot of people again just don't know who this person is but um for personal reasons for all you cubans out there this shirt is super super hard i'm actually considering uh you know going ahead and picking one up for personal reasons because uh yeah this shirt is definitely definitely really really tough if you ask me another shirt that i feel is pretty dope is the city lights rayon even though I don't feel like this is going to be the high ticket item of the week that it drops, I do think that it's a really nice rayon shirt. Um, I don't think it's going to have much resale, but regardless, if you guys are feeling this shirt, I definitely do not think it's a bad pickup at all. To finalize the shirts category, the last rayon that I feel is fire, I guess we only spoke about rayons, the rest are pretty trash, um, is the floral rayon. 
every season it feels like we get like some sort of floral shirt if it's not a rayon it's a long sleeve or a t-shirt or something this season we got a uh, rayon both colorways, the black one and the white one, are pretty dope in my opinion. I could definitely see them, uh, you know, being well appreciated in the community. Personally, I probably won't go after them, but if you ask me, they are still pretty dope. But let's move on to the tops and sweaters. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I threw up when I saw this category. Every piece in this category is trash, maybe with the exception of one piece. And to be honest, the colorways are not even all that. I'm talking about the back logo sweater. My favorite one is like that slight purplish one. I, it kind of reminds me of the faux fur jacket that we saw a couple seasons back, the one that's going for a lot of money right now. Uh, maybe that was the reference for this design. If this turns out to be like a cable knit sweater or a sweater that's just, you know, really good quality, I do think that the community will appreciate this one as well. I don't know how it's going to do on the resale market because, again, I don't know the retail, but I do think that that is a pretty clean, uh, you know, sweater in my opinion. It's not like over the top, but it is pretty dope if you ask me. Let's move on to the sweatshirts. Um, again, another letdown. It feels like Supreme, the sweaters are just declining every season. This season, there's like one or two sweaters that I would consider going for. To start, we have the Blink hooded sweatshirt. We saw this during the image that Supreme put out with the, uh, you know, with the denim jacket, with the whole punch denim jacket. Um, this one, I kind of liked it more during the, uh, you know, that image when I saw it. When I see the entire image, it's kind of loud. I still do think that it's going to sell out and it might have a little bit of resale simply because it's an all over print hoodie. But um, in my opinion, they could have done a little bit better. Maybe without all of like the blink, it would have came out a little bit better. Regardless, it's a dope hoodie. I don't think that it's going to be a sleeper. The green one is far better than the red one. The red one is disgusting in my opinion. They could have, you know, definitely done better with another color. But nonetheless, I can't see why somebody would find this appealing. Another hoodie that I feel is pretty dope is the uh, all over print Ramel Z hoodie, I believe is how you pronounce it. In my opinion, this hoodie is fire. Not only because it's an all over print hoodie and I'm a sucker for all over print hoodies, but also the abstract design, the spell out on the front is not like the traditional old English font. They went, you know, with a different, you know, typeface this time around, which is pretty clean. In my opinion, the hoodie is clean. I love the colors. I love the way it all sits. I can uh, see this flipping for, you know, a good amount as well. And I can definitely see it selling out. Um, I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. I just feel like it's pretty dope. And uh, yeah, I do think that a lot of people would appreciate that one as well. Obviously, the big hitter out of the hoodies category is probably the Motion Logo hoodie. I do like this hoodie. I love the colorways that they chose this time around. That purple is nice. The yellow one is fire. The gray, obviously, the green one is also fire. Um, this one is probably going to be, uh, you know, the fan favorite among all of the hoodies. When it drops, it's probably going to be the go-to item of the week. When they drop the Motion Logo t-shirts, those slapped. So uh, there's no reason why this one wouldn't slap either. But the last sweater that I feel we should all talk about is the Cutout Logo crew neck. I guess we can call this a Broke Boys box logo. This is probably the closest we're going to get to a box logo all season. Um, in my opinion, it's not the ugliest crew neck out there. Um, they could have definitely, uh, you know, done worse. I can understand why somebody might cop this for resale. I can also understand why somebody might cop this for personal, especially if you don't own a box logo. Um, this is definitely, you know, pretty close to a box logo in my opinion. It's not like, obviously I wouldn't consider it, you know, one of the best ones out there, but for a crew neck, it is pretty dope. For a box logo, it's pretty weak, but um, it's still a pretty dope sweater in my opinion. One of the best ones out of the whole season. But that is that. Let's move on to the pants category. Um, to be honest, these are mostly bricks. Um, there is one pair of pants that I feel are pretty fire though. One of the pants that I might go ahead and cop for the personal. Those are the cotton stitch pants. Those pants we're not used to seeing from Supreme. In my opinion, these are hard. The fit looks like they're going to be pretty dope. So uh, I hope Supreme doesn't you know drop the ball when it comes to that. Usually Supreme pants fit terrible. Hopefully these are a lot better. I love the colorways. I love the uh, placement of the logo. I love the uh, you know just the way the pants just look overall. The camo one is fire. The orange is fire. Fire, the black is fire. These are pretty fire pants in my opinion. I hope that they're not expensive because I would love to pick one of those up. But lastly, we did see the warm-up pants making a return of the season. I do like the addition of the newer ones that they came out with. It kind of looks like it has like that Versace design to it. Um, I probably won't pick it up for personal because I have enough warm-up pants. And to be honest, I hate the way warm-up pants fit. But um, again, I can definitely see these, uh, you know, performing pretty well in the market. And uh, yeah, I can definitely see why somebody might find these appealing. But let's move on to the shorts category. Um, all bricks, these shorts are all trash in my opinion. I hate them all. 
I'm actually not go even going to waste any time with it because uh, dumb shits are all pretty trash in my opinion. But let's move on to the t-shirts. Um, the t-shirts, they're pretty cool. I guess most of these we're going to see drop during the first week of the season online and obviously in store. Um, let's start with the Tupac tee. I'm not gonna lie guys, this Tupac tee, when I heard about it, I was excited about it. When I saw it, I was kind of let down. I definitely feel like Supreme could have done much, much better. Obviously, you don't really have much to reference off of as he's been, uh, you know, deceased for a really long time. Rest in peace, Tupac. But um, I just feel like they could have paid tribute to him a little bit better. We are also getting a deck with the same design. Um, but honestly, I don't want to trash it. I just feel like they could have done better. Obviously, it's going to have hype to it because it is Supreme and it's Tupac. So it's definitely going to flip for, uh, you know, a good amount. But um, again, I just feel like they could have done better. The Blink tee is fire. The Paint logo tee is probably the best t-shirt out of the entire t-shirt section. Um, the rest are pretty mediocre in my opinion. Actually, the Laugh Now tee is also pretty fire. I like how the design is also on the back, not only on the front. That shirt is fire. The Cherry tee is dope as well. Um, for the most part, these are, you know, pretty clean t-shirts nothing too over the top but um yeah pretty dope if you ask me now let's get into uh, another just brick category the hats first thing that hit me as soon as i opened this category is why the hell are there so many dad hats jesus christ i have never seen so many dad hats from supreme it feels like all of the camp caps are dad hats and personally, I'm not a fan of dad hats. I know a lot of people are, and I know a lot of people have been asking Supreme to make dad hats, but Jesus Christ, there's like 50 fucking dad hats on this section. Like, we didn't need this many. Honestly, the majority of these hats are trash, not only because they're dad hats, but also because the designs are pretty weak. Um, the S logos, the ones that I'm usually most excited for, weak, I don't like them. Uh, most of the camp caps, weak. The twill hats, the military camp caps, weak. The beanies, weak, with probably the exception to the Motion Logo beanie. Um, honestly, I'm not super excited about them. Obviously, we're going to be talking about them a little bit more with each drop list. But um, honestly, this is a brick category, if you ask me. But let's move on to the bags. The bags, the bags, the bags. Honestly, I'm not really feeling them either. When it comes to the backpack, the backpack is not terrible. I do feel like um, you know the backpack is one of the better backpacks that we've seen in a while. Um, but when it comes to like the duffel bag, the waist bag, the shoulder bag, those are all trash. The utility pouch is not bad. I can see uh, you know it being pretty useful. But um, the rest of them usually are uh, you know a lot better this season. They're pretty weak. But um, yeah, they're bags. I guess there's not really much to say about that. The tote, in my opinion, is actually pretty dope. I personally am pretty excited to see a tote. We usually don't get one. And uh, this one being pretty dope, I am pretty excited about that. But then we have these woven stripe pieces. We have this waist bag and we also have the coin pouch. The waist bag, I'm not really a fan of it, even though I can see why some people would appreciate it out there. Personally, I love, love, love that coin pouch. For all the females out there, I can definitely see why you guys would find this useful. You throw it in your bag and it'll probably, uh, you know, do its job pretty easily. For us men, um, this will practically hold everything that we need, whether it's money, cards, ID, Anything that we can think of, it'll definitely fit in this bag. So this is definitely a really, really nice practical bag. I will definitely go ahead and try to pick one up for myself. But that is that. Let's move on to probably the best category out of the entire lookbook, that being the accessories. Everybody's favorite pieces when it comes to Supreme. Um, to start, I wanna give you guys my favorite item that I saw. Um, obviously, let's start with this Oreo. I'm not gonna lie, this Oreo was so, so close to making the trash of the, uh, of the video in the beginning. Personally, it's a dope cookie, I'm not gonna lie, but it's double stuff. Double stuff is basura, that shit is disgusting. If you like double stuff, I'm definitely judging you. This obviously is going to be everywhere. Everybody and their mom is going to be eating these Oreos. I can already see the Instagram photos now. Um, obviously, I'm gonna try to cop, but I'm definitely not going to try to eat them because them shit is disgusting. But um, yeah, pretty interesting accessory in my opinion. But we do have a lot better accessories. We have this glass ashtray. This ashtray is insanely fire i'm digging this 100 i really want one i hope it's not expensive because this is definitely going to slap and i can definitely see it flipping as well this is definitely one of the best uh, you know ashes that we've got in a while so i'm definitely super excited about that as well but we have this bike obviously this bike is going to be the big hitter of the season it's probably going to be extremely limited and i wouldn't be surprised if most of them are backdoored 
But um, here's to hoping I'm going to try to cop as many as I possibly can. It is a BMX bike, so in a way it is more useful for a lot of people. But um, yeah, I am also curious to see the retail on that as well. Another few accessories that I'm super, super excited about. Obviously, we have that Spalding George Washington basketball. That piece is going to slap. Hopefully, we can pick up some of those. We also have the Fujifilm Instant Film that I'm gonna need. I might go ahead and cop a Polaroid just to use those. Obviously, taking some pics and uh, it being on some Supreme Fuji Instant Films, that is going to be super, super hard. So I'm gonna need some of those. We also have the Ziploc bags. Pretty interesting accessory. I guess you can put your Oreos in there whenever you wanna, you know, pull them out. You're definitely going to have a flex, like a double flex. We also have this uh, workstation. That workstation is hard, but it might be expensive. So uh, obviously, if it's limited, it's going to flip, but I do wanna see the retail on that. We also have the umbrella. We have the transparent lock. We have this uh, poncho. The poncho is kind of a meme, but um, it being like a rain poncho, I guess it's kind of useful there. I personally will not get anywhere near that but I can see why you guys would like it. And then lastly, we have the mug set. That mug set is super, super, super hard. But that is the lookbook, guys. Actually, there is one more section, the skate section. I only like one skate deck that I that I saw, at least, that being the distorted logo. Um, that piece is hard, if you ask me. I can definitely see a lot of people, uh, you know, looking to cop it for, uh, you know, wall decoration. Or uh, obviously, if you would skate with it, you could probably, you know, skate it out. But I can definitely see this being, you know, home decor for a lot of people. That piece is hard. The Motion logo, Cruiser Skate, board is kind of trash in my opinion but um yeah you guys can definitely uh you know obviously give your opinion on that if there's anything that i missed out out of the lookbook that you guys were feeling drop it down below in the comment section below i hope you guys are ready i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like for your boy comment your thoughts and as always please subscribe to the channel i promise you guys will not be disappointed we're about to have supreme content two three times a week out here we got dropless reviews we got live cops i promise you guys will not be disappointed so join up ugly gang hit that subscribe button also if you guys want to cook up with the boy go shoot me a dm show me proof that you are subscribed and i will send you guys an invite to my discord we're gonna be cooking it up non-stop over there so join up asap but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys until next time peace